Hi, I'm Morten Nissen from the WASH team and I would like to demonstrate the spectral correction method for experiments estimates which is introduced in WASH Engineering 4. And uh, here I have a WASH Engineering project from a, a site in North Portugal and there's some data from this mast in the middle. It's from a um, research project funded by the European Union and the measurements are made by our partners in Niki from Portugal. And um, I've also placed some other places here and notice that it's a complex terrain. You have a, a quite some height differences here and I place them at some difficult places where there's different speed up in different directions. So it's not so so easy to make these predictions. And uh, the normal way that it was done in, in WASP engineering, uh, in the previous versions, and it's still existing, is that you make an observed extreme climate here, and then you generalize it by using the flow model, and then you can right-click here and say, apply this to, to the sites in the, in the project. Um, for instance, I can take this one and that height. Then I have the prediction here where it's, uh, the prediction is that this is uh, 37 meters per second. And uh, that was 11 years of, of, of data. So um, that's, uh, that's all very well, but uh, in reality, you often you have shorter observation periods in real wind energy projects. So uh, we then got the idea that maybe we can combine uh, um, data from uh, from uh, these uh, analysis data for all over the world with the local measurements. And it's called spectral correction because the corrections is actually made in a, in a frequency domain and then you make a hybrid spectra based on both the uh, long-term uh, information and then the local information here. Uh, the normal way to generate input for WASP engineering is with this uh, WASP climate analyst and then you can collect your data here and then uh, generate these observed extreme wind climates here, like this. But with the spectral correction method, then it's a little bit different because then you need the time series here. And uh, then you, I could just say this and uh, export the data to file. And But uh, I just I want to um, simulate that only have one year data. So here I can limit the, the period to one year and then export it. Uh, and uh, I've already done this, so I go back to the WASP engineering project, and then uh, I can uh, click here on extreme wind climates, and then normally you'll insert the observed wind climates, but here we generalize it, we create the, this inside WASP engineering. And uh, But before that, then I should also, uh, um, because it needs to tell, uh, contact the data server, and uh, then you need to know where in the world you, you are here. So this local map, I should connect it. I can make this skew reference here. So I say, what is the projection? It's UTM 29 and then the datum here. So once this is uh, in place, then we are ready to connect to the data server. So go in here, say, create a generalized extreme climate with spectral correction and uh, find the position in the map here. I can choose uh, the mass site and the, the measurement height, 30 meter, and uh, then I import the, the time series of local data. And then I'm ready to press calculate, and it starts by uh, finding the, the speed up factors for the site of observation. I press next, and then it calculates a spectrum. It's not um, it's not a terminal spectrum, but a spectrum of these, this uh, time series of 10 minutes data. So now I'm ready to connect to the server. And uh, here I should say that you are not uh, you are not uploading data here, you're only extracting data. So the only thing that you are telling the server is uh, uh, um, the position of your, of your project. And now the hybrid spectrum is ready and f then I can s generate this ex uh, uh, generalized extreme wind climate here, give it a name and uh, now I have this and I'm ready to, uh, to apply this to make predictions for the sites 
and uh, here we say for uh, side number number five, then I had an estimate of 35 and a half meter per second. So that was almost like uh, 37 meters per second, which we had before. Uh, and then you should uh, notice that these are uh, uh, 21 years of, of data from mm -hmm. the long-term reference. So it was not exactly the same data set as uh, the 10 years which we had before. Uh, and also that the estimates are within the uncertainty of this. So um, this is uh, the news is that you, you can now take a, a observation from a short period, just one year or even shorter, and then combine it with the, the long-term data on the server here, and then make predictions for your, your site. And uh, we have, um, we have uh, data available for uh, the US and Europe, including Turkey, and then we are working with China and then the, the rest of the world. So um, this is all I wanted to say, so uh, thank you for listening and uh, have fun with this new message.